Hi, welcome back to Wholesome Living. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the care and propagation of a snake plant. If you haven't watched my video on the benefits of a snake plant, then you can look down in the description box and find the link to the benefits of snake plants. Uh, now, uh, today we're going to be talking about how to transplant and care for a snake plant. As you can see, I've got two snake plants here. There's one uh, which is in a pot that is pretty crowded and there's the second one which is not in a very crowded pot. Now this is not exactly the right time to be transplanting or removing any of these snake plants because there's still a lot of space there. But I'm going to be transplanting it uh, because I've got to give this to someone as a housewarming gift so I thought why not make a video and show you guys how to transplant your snake plant and along with that I uh, hope to give you some of the tips on how to care for the plant. Uh, even if you look at this pot right here, uh, this pot is actually okay. It, although it looks crowded, it can get even fuller than this and it will not be an issue because this plant does not require as much soil that there is in this pot. So it can grow in this pot for another three to five years and it will still be okay uh, till it doesn't really get bunched up and bushy. Till then I'm going to keep this plant and I've actually propagated some from this mother plant into another pot about a year ago and you can see the results in a year there are more uh, snake plants. It was just two that I put and one of uh, these has actually given out two more on the side. Uh, this I'm going to save till it gets full. Uh, now looking at uh, the, the uh, transplanting of this plant. So uh, as you can see there are three, pl uh, four plants in this and what I want to do is I want to uh, remove one of them without disturbing the plant as much as possible. So I'm going to leave that half of the pot as it is and I'm going to simply just remove this because it's supposed to be a, a housewarming gift for someone. So I'm going to be taking the trouble of removing this. Now you can see the soil is pretty dry and that's exactly how it should be. A lot of people what they do is they water their snake plant a lot and uh, that's where uh, the plant gets damaged. So what I'm doing is I'm using this uh, very blunt uh, piece of wood to uproot the plant and I think it is connected somewhere or it may not be. If it's not connected that's even better. I think it's not connected because I've actually put in two plants into this one pot. So yes it's not really connected. So I'm lucky it's not connected to the other plant and now what I need to do is I need to simply put it into another pot without disturbing the roots as much as possible. I'm going to put all, you can see that the roots came out in one go. I had a knife ready to cut the roots in case I had to but it looks like I'm quite fortunate. I've got the roots in pretty well and I'm going to use a little bit of the old soil from the old pot. Um, just so that the plant doesn't go into too much of shock. When you transplant plants, what usually happens is they go into shock. And uh, I've intentionally kept the plant dry so that the roots uh, don't experience too much of shock. And also when I'm done with the repotting, uh, the soil is dry enough for the plant to be watered uh, thoroughly. Uh, so if you can see, I've got some sand and soil mixed here and I'm going to be using this to put into the new pot. It's some compost rich soil and sand. Uh, I know I'm still doing a video on how to make compost but that's about what all this plant will need for now. Now uh, this plant is actually really easy to care for. Uh, all you have to do is make sure when you do have the pot ready, you have good drainage holes and you do not over water the plant. The biggest problem with this plant that I see most people having is they over water the plant and then it's disaster because there's a lot of re root rot and uh, recovering a plant uh, once it's got root rot is actually very difficult because the root is the most important part of the plant. Even if I lost all these leaves, that would still be okay if I had good roots, the plant would 
eventually grow back but once your roots rot you're in big trouble with your plants so be very very careful with over watering what you can do is you can water the plant thoroughly once it's potted and then leave it to dry completely like this pot on the other side if you see both my snake plants the soil is extremely dry i'll be leaving uh, them for about uh, 20 days uh, because i'll be going somewhere and so uh, i've intentionally let the soil dry completely so before i leave i'll water it thoroughly and then uh, they'll be fine on their own for another month so my plant has been repotted and have replenished some of the soil from this old pot i will give this plant also a little bit of loosening now uh, taking care of these plants is actually pretty simple uh, allow the soil to harden like this then once in two or three months you just loosen up the soil and that will allow for new pups to grow uh, the soil mixture that you use isn't too complex it actually does fine in uh, medium to low quality soil occasionally you do need to wipe the leaves up if you can see the leaves are really dirty there are cobwebs on some of them what you can do oh actually if you could do this before you uh, repot the plant that would be better because then you won't be disturbing the plant but yeah this is how you just wipe the leaves down with a wet piece of cloth and uh, see that there's no water running down the piece of cloth because the water will accumulate at the base of the leaves another thing that you have to be really careful with uh, when it comes to this plant is uh, where you keep this plant because uh, it's a poisonous plant it's although it's really good for oxygen and for uh, decorative purposes this plant is dangerous uh, because it it's poisonous for uh, people as well as for your pets so if you have pets in the house or if you have kids in the house who go touching things and putting it in their mouth and things like that then you've got to be really careful where you place this plant and also you have to be very careful of the tips of the plant because these can easily uh, poke through your eyes or, or, or you know they can just uh, kind of hurt you in some way if you get too close or you accidentally lean over the plant so where you place the plant is also very important don't water the leaves between the leaves because if water accumulates there it's going to damage the leaves and result in the rotting of the leaves from the base and then uh, there's no turning back from there now that the plants are reported i'm going to water the plant and i'm going to water the plant uh, really well i'm going to allow the soil to uh, fill up with water since the soil was already very dry and i made sure that the soil was dry so that there's no over watering it does look like over watering at this point but the entire pot is dry and so all the water is going to go through and the plant is going to have sufficient water for another month i'm going to do the same with this plant and i'm going to take care not to water in between the leaves i'm going to water the soil and not the leaves because if i do water in between the leaves then the plant is going to get damaged so only put water on the soil so when you do water you water it thoroughly otherwise you don't water it at all until the soil gets really really dry you can water it till the water comes through the base the pots have been watered really well i literally flooded the entire flower pots with water to the top and then i waited for some time for the water to trickle through like this you can see the water is trickling through and that's a good sign that the water plant has been watered really well you can see there's enough water coming through the base of the plant and now i don't need to worry about watering these plants at all for another month maybe a month and a half till the soil does not get completely dry you don't water the plant even the transplanted one is just fine as it is keep it indoors 
uh, somewhere where it will get a good reasonable amount of light and that should be fine for that. Uh, you could put this in direct sunlight but that would damage the plant so as much as possible do keep it indoors. I hope you enjoyed watching our video on the snake plant care and propagation and do like and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye. Oh,